combines the two power of IoT and blockchain together. So it is run on a, a unique uh, network uh, called Karma Capsule Network. Basically, we capture the data, uh, AI, and the state and create an object out of it and make a uh, network out of it. So it's a blockchain, you can call it as a blockchain, but it's a unique type of blockchain. So we all know the industry problems, but let me, you know, the root causes of the industry right now, what, why we are looking at blockchain, lack of transparency, intermediate, you know, inefficiency with the intermediates, uh, processes, lack of trust, which is the most important thing, and then the lack of intelligence within the business network itself for self-correction. Uh, uh, so we have a, a solution to the problem in terms of uh, encapsulating the values rather than working with the naked data. We go all the way to the value and capture it. And then uh, we create an enterprise digital twin which will talk to the enterprise, which is the guy who is buying it from the business network. Right? So it has to make sense for the enterprise to use these values. And then we create a monetizable assets, basically tradable, you can call it as a digital assets or crypto based asset. We don't deal with cryptocurrency but digital assets. So um, in this challenge, obviously we have two parts of the challenge. One is to talk to the DERs to uh, find the fraud. Uh, and the second thing is how to create a tradable assets through the smart contracts from the uh, energy certificates. While the proposition we are going to bring, um, provenance of the records by directly talking to the DER, uh, DERs and uh, the fraud detection and uh, deviation of quality. Uh, then non-fungibility, this is the most important thing basically, you know, whether we, somebody is replacing one uh, digital asset, the source with the other. So entire trading is based on the fungibility in, uh, of the asset. So we focus on the non-fungibility, make, making sure that people are not replacing one with the other. Um, then we preserve the values inside our network. Uh, that's a great asset to the corporate, corporation. And a bunch of other things, analytics, talking to the ERP and all. Um, step one, we build the consortium. We can build consortium blockchain as well as private blockchain, but in this case it's a consortium blockchain. So from the tradable vehicle, we create tradable vehicle out of the energy certificates and put it into the consortium. The consortium can have uh, the brokers, uh, consumers, providers, as well as the regulators. Uh, in, in this case, can, the company itself can be regulated. Then uh, we allow the sellers to create smart contracts and trade it in the consortium uh, by going to the platform. And uh, each consumer you know, basically uh, can go to the specific outlet and consume a specific smart contract. So co smart contracts are created when, by the suppliers. Uh, producers, then these the same contracts are available in the network for consumption by the consumers. Since it's a trading platform con uh, driven by the consortium, the rules of the house is determined by can be determined in two levels. Basically, the governments. One is the constitution of the consortium itself can be written in, into the consensus of government. And second thing is the bunch of smart contracts, enforcement of smart contracts. Uh, between the, the, the tradable uh, relationship between the buyer and the seller. So in that way, we have our two levels. If a smart contract uh, you know, is not, we want the smart contracts for its uh, immutability, at the same time, we also have a, can give a con uh, control to the consortium for the majority of the notes. So this is how um, the smart contracts Small or medium or large. 
we give a platform to create. This is an outcome of one business model. If there are no more questions, then you can continue your presentation. Okay. So, uh, the energy trading happens, so in this case, the deviation as plotted, uh, algorithm written by us, uh, in terms of uh, uh, monitoring the DERs, and the, uh, it matches with the smart contracts. So, if, uh, if somebody is uh, putting a solar and creating a smart contract, and they are replacing it with something else, and the deviation, the fluctuation happens, uh, our system will detect immediately. Either you penalize by cancelling the smart contract, or uh, do something, other actions within the consortium. The price uh, can be fixed by the buyer, sorry, by the seller, or the consortium also can step up to adjust the price as long as it is written in the constitution of the consortium. So, there was a question earlier to ask for, uh, to us, you know, in terms of who controls the price. We can configure the system in a way that can be override, but it, the consortium should agree to it. So this is how the data is you know, flowing from the end to end in our uh, network. This is the overall solution uh, from all the way from the uh, edge to the consortium. <laughs>